So we've activated beast mode on the S9, the S8 Plus, the Note 8, but today it's Panda's turn. How to activate beast mode on the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, if you just got a Pixel 2 XL, you probably are loving the phone so far, great camera. But in this video, we're just gonna give you some tips on how to keep this phone running fast over your duration of use. And keep in mind that when I say beast mode, I mean running fast efficiently throughout your use. So if you do have a Pixel 2 with a small one this video does apply as well so don't think that you're out of the works if you're using this phone all of the same tips will apply there now the first thing I do with any Android phone I don't care which one it is is I go into my settings and I enable these animations to go down to a little bit faster speed so how do we do this we go into settings we go to system then we're gonna go to about phone and we're gonna find the build number here so we're gonna go all the way to the bottom hit the bill number multiple times until you enable the developer options. When in developer options, we're gonna scroll down until we find the animations. So let's go down to the animations and put these at 0.5. Out of the box, they come at 1x. Now 1x is a very smooth animation, but it's not very fast. So we're gonna put these at 0.5x and you're just gonna see how much faster it does get already. So this is gonna be one of the most noticeable tips here for the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, if you really wanna go all out, I do recommend putting it at off. This really just takes away the animations altogether and you're just really feeling that raw performance of the phone. Now, some people don't like this because of the visuals, but I tend to think that if you're looking for the best speed, put this thing down to off. But if you like a little bit of an animation, but you want a faster speed, go to 0.5X, that's the first tip. Next up, a lot of people don't know this, but the Pixel 2 XL does have face unlock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings here, and we're gonna go down into security, and under the smart lock settings, I'm not gonna set mine up, go into here and you're gonna see the face unlock once you do enable it. So I'm gonna put my password in just to show you what I'm talking about here. So when you get in smart lock, you can see trusted face. This is where you do set up your face unlock for the Pixel 2 XL. Now there's something else when you do get that set up that I want you to have enabled to make this a better experience. Go ahead and type in the search settings, lift up display. Now it might be on by default, lift to check phone here. Make sure this is checked on. This is gonna allow you to just pull your phone out of your pocket and it should you know, turn on there. Now also there's one more thing I do want you to activate and that's gonna be the double tap to wake up the phone. So double tap to check the phone. And this way, if you pull it out of your pocket, you see the time, all you gotta do, let's go ahead and activate that. All you have to do is this and then you're gonna swipe to unlock with your face. It can't see me because of my camera, but that's gonna make it very easy to get in. If you don't like to utilize that fingerprint scanner, you'll have the face unlock there with the double tap, with the lift up to check phone, should be a little more efficient, a little bit faster for your use. The next thing I do, I don't know if it really changes performance too much, but I always turn off static or these live wallpapers and put a more static wallpaper on the Pixel 2 XL. It just makes it to me feel like, you know, I just feel like I'm gonna use more battery. I don't know how much resources these live wallpapers do use but having a static wallpaper in my mind always going to give you a little bit you know better battery life and might improve performance a little bit so i do recommend a static wallpaper next up we're going to go ahead and enable the system-wide data saver now this is a big one here so we're going to go into settings and just type in data saver so you're going to see data saver right there and it showed me right here we're going to click this and we're going to turn this on. Now you do have the ability to enable certain apps that are unrestricted, meaning that they can still work in the background, but data saver basically just restricts a bunch of background activity. It makes the performance smoother for you on the day to day. So data saver is a recommended feature to use on the Pixel 2 XL for the best performance. Next up is in settings again, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear misbehaving apps. So let's go into the applications and notifications and we're gonna go to see all apps. Now you're gonna know which apps are bad by the ones that, you know, when you go into them, the phone starts getting hot a lot of the times. Those are usually bad apps. And the phones that are being used quite a bit, I would go check on these as well. So like you can see, I use Amazon on quite a bit. This is going to be taking up a lot of resources. So I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to scroll down to I see storage and I'm going to clear the cache on this application and do that for the applications you use the most or ones that are misbehaving. If they're really misbehaving, I do recommend an uninstall that should help immediately as well. 
And next up is do not install these AVG or these antivirus softwares. They do not help the performance and they don't keep you really any safer at all in my experience. Google is constantly pushing out security updates to the Pixel 2 XL. It's one of the most secure Android phones you can get and you're pretty protected. So I think that these aren't going to help you too much. So I always recommend to stay away from these antivirus softwares for the Pixel or any other Android phone as long as that phone is getting updates rather frequently. And a couple of bonus things. These aren't really, you know, tips to make it faster anymore. I just want you to remember that these are on your Pixel 2 XL, so you do have a little bit of a better experience. When you are on the lock screen, I see people doing it all the time. They don't know they have the double tap to open the camera. They go in their phone, they open it up, they find the camera. You can always just double tap the power button to quick launch the camera on the Pixel 2 XL. That'll make your experience much faster when trying to not miss a moment with this beautiful camera that does come on this phone. And also, remember that the app switcher is here on the square. So when you're in the apps, you don't actually have to keep going home and then hitting this button. Like if you're in settings and you wanna go back to the Play Store, all you have to do is double tap like this and keep that in mind that that feature is there. I forget this all the time and uh, this really works very smooth on the Pixel 2 XL and it allows you to hop between apps a lot faster than you would be able to if you keep going home and then opening it up and going in the app. It just takes much longer. That'll make your experience a little more efficient. And that's it. That's all I have here for the Google Pixel 2 XL. It doesn't really need much more than that to have a stellar experience. Android 8.1 Oreo runs super smooth and flawless on here. But with all these tips, you should have even better experience on the Google Pixel 2 or 2 XL. If you have any other tips to share with the community, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. If you found it's helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe for more. I'm gonna bring another one of these with the OnePlus 6, so you might wanna stay tuned. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.